The mass production of raspberries involves a blend of cutting-edge technology and dedication. What goes on behind the scenes of the industrial-scale raspberry farming industry? Raspberries are among the favorite fruits of Americans, especially for cakes and jams. To meet that rising demand, over 100,000 tons of raspberries were produced in the USA just last year. A wide array of machines are used to harvest this fruit. The raspberry plant is essentially a shrub that can grow up to five feet in height. The harvester has long sticks that shake the branches of the plant gently, but firmly enough that the berry fall down. It lands on a conveyor belt, which helps in transporting the berry for further processes. In the harvester, the collected berries are separated from leaves and debris by blowing wind over them. The berries are then collected and stored on the same harvester using crates. The berries are not ready just yet. The farmers ensure that they deliver the best quality food so the raspberries are transferred to a conveyor belt and the farmers manually sort them. Unripe or bad raspberries are simply removed by the farmers. This gets their hands red, but it is worth the price. Raspberries are grown on a large scale and specialized machinery definitely makes things easier, but this doesn't mean that it is a totally automated process. Skilled humans are definitely required on the job, be it to sort and remove the unripe and bad berries or to make crates of the selected ones. It is a long process and this is just the first step. Upon arrival at the factory, workers use carriages or carts to transport the berry boxes from the vehicles to the designated storage areas. In these storage spaces, the berries are carefully transferred into large storage containers to maintain their freshness and quality. Meanwhile, the empty boxes are automatically collected and sent back by the machine, ensuring a streamlined and efficient process for future use. Forklifts definitely make things easier for the whole transportation process. They can carry dozens of raspberry boxes at once, which makes things faster. Upon entering the factory, raspberries are ready for processing. The boxes are emptied on the conveyor belt, and a constant screening is maintained to ensure no bad berries make it through. Meanwhile, the empty boxes are washed and sent back to the farmers to fill with new berries.
Next, the berries go through a washing process facilitated by a machine equipped with multiple tube-like structures that spray water onto the berries. These tubes evenly distribute water over the berries, thoroughly washing them and removing any remaining dirt or debris. This ensures that the berries are clean and ready for further processing or packaging. After the machine washes the berries, workers at the factory carefully check each one by hand. They look for any dirt or bad berries, like ones that are squished or moldy. If they find any, they take them out so only the good berries are left. This way, the factory ensures that the customers get the best quality fruit. Cleanliness is given huge importance in this process. This was not the first time the berries were sorted by the workers. After the hand sorting process, the berries are sent to be frozen. This means they are placed in a freezer where very cold temperatures are used to preserve them. Freezing helps the berries stay fresh for longer periods so they can be enjoyed even when they're not in season. Once the berries are frozen, they're given a little shake to get rid of any extra water they might have picked up. This shaking helps keep them from sticking together in big clumps and makes sure they stay loose and easy to use later on. The workers are instructed to keep things tidy and fresh so that buyers can enjoy this fruit to the most of its capacity. Then the berries are moved into large boxes one last time. These boxes are used for storing the berries or sending them off to the market. These big containers keep the berries safe until they're ready to be sold or used. Special care is given so as to not squish them. Whether they're headed for storage or to the local markets, these boxes help keep the berries fresh and ready for everyone to enjoy. Some raspberries are sorted out and their pulps are extracted and collected in bucket-like containers for additional processing. This means that the juicy parts of these raspberries are separated and put into special buckets. These buckets are used for carrying the pulp to the next stage of processing. This is where the process of making raspberry jam starts. The buckets with juicy raspberries are transported to a different facility where the buckets from earlier make a second appearance. The forklifts from earlier are used again to carry dozens of raspberry-filled buckets at once. In the new facility, the buckets are emptied on a conveyor belt where workers run a quality control sorting one last time. The selected berries are now transferred to big barrels and the berries already have a jam-like consistency by now. Multiple barrels at once are filled with this jam-like berries and then transported one last time for further processing. Finally, the last step of making raspberry jam begins. Sugar and the selected raspberries are mixed and cooked the cooked jam is then transferred to sterilized glass jars. The jars are sent for packaging, where they are bejeweled with labels and are ready to be transported throughout the world.